Hello and welcome to another recording. This will be character creation uh, episode. I'm just going to get my other two Gamma recruits activated before the 18th. I've only got another week and I think if I don't do it now I forget and I will just uh, miss out. So I've got my tactical. Now I'm thinking engineering has to do with ships so I'll have the Vanguard um, Jem'Hadar which is a space uh, Jem'Hadar and this is a uh, a ground troop so I'm gonna have that as my science officer but uh, because I prefer to have my science officer fledged out a bit more I'm going to just to do a quick one of this and then go to the science officer afterwards so we'll get that next is appearance it's gonna be a vanguard so I'll go take a vanguard uniform actually if you like the vanguard a lot better it's got more detail to it Okay, standard stance. Gruff. Eh, won't mess with the height. Head. I think that looks more stern, number three. Skin tight scale. Let's um, zoom in a little. I guess the more scales, the older he looks. If he's supposed to be a first, let's make him uh, older. Can't change the eye type, but you can change the eye color. Can't do many more than that. That's the whites of the eye. Pupils. Again, it's not really fussed about this. Oh, it's the head ridges, not this. Oh, for some reason I read I read large chest plate. <laughs> okay. No, I want the head to be smooth like that, but let's have a look what else is available. Fern number three. Okay, a few more ridges. Oh, not ridges, sorry. Um, bony protrusions. Doesn't look too bad. Well, it's too much. Difference. Hmm. I do like the mercenary look, but let's have a look at the back. That's too plain. I'm going to stick with that. Then I can actually change the. Ooh, yeah, bright. Shiny, almost gold like. Have them. Have that uniform stand out. Not too much. Gloves. Again, more detail in these ones, so let's. Okay, again, let's have something bright for dark. Make it stand out a bit. I think that looks like it's like a, a knife or something that's added to it, but... 
He's gonna be an engineer, so he doesn't want stuff. Let's have it as none, because we don't want... Uh, he's gonna be an engineer, we don't want to have things on his hands that are in his way. It doesn't make sense. This badge thing here, I believe. Is it changing? Yeah, it is changing. Okay, so let's have it really dark. Then really bright. Eh, equipment pack makes sense. Get oh yeah, we have that bright, really dark. Stand out a bit. Arm attachment again. Want to try to avoid. Oh, pouches. Okay, he's going to be an engineer. You might want to have. Equipment stored. Again, want something that stands out a bit. Dark finish to make it pop. Oh, that's going to be bright. Chest gear, let's have a look. Again, want little mercenary pouches for... Um, Again, as an engineer, he'll have, he'll have a heap of uh, equipment he can use. Stands out. Collar. I have to zoom into the head to see this. Well, he's not going to have any... Um, any need for the Kefrasil, but still use it. Oh, that to me always looks Klingon. Well, that's another thing I've got to decide whether or not he's going to be a Klingon or Federation. Good again, have them stand out as bright as possible. Not seeing any difference between these two. Uh, the knee pad stand out as well. And the base can be pure dark. Lower. Reinforced. Maybe dark on the outside, light on the inside. Yeah, it really stands out. Okay, belt. Again, you want something with pockets on it. Number four looks pretty good so far. Um, number two, because there's both the pockets and the cylinders on it. Again, you want them to pop out. Hip attachment. Again, it looks like a sash. Satchel of some sort. Let's have a look. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be leather armor or some sort of satchel.
Okay, so again, let's have these things pop. Dark patching. What did I... I think I just did something wrong there. Let's have a look. Dark patch in there as well. Not seeing anything change. Let's just keep it like that. Nothing's changing. Okay. Um, intent. Intent. I'm not good with names, so I'm just going to leave it like that. Engage. Oh, the ship name. Um, doesn't really matter. Um, the name shouldn't matter either. No, I thought I said I need to fill out three more different fields. So I'm just going to save this character. I'm not going to play the missions. Hopefully you can save it before the missions because I just want to do a quick video on creating a um, Gemini. Skip that. Skip that. And let's go and create another character okay so this will be the yep it's there let's create the science officer bgm hadar science next appearance okay so we're gonna have just the standard uh uniform yeah uh, I think Stern just keeps him standing still a little better. Okay, so head type. Again, fur, so it'd be a little older. Wait. Oh, wait, that changes the face. Eh, this one changes the scales. Let's make him a little different. Let's get the eyes really... Nothing's changing. Let's get the eyes really dark. Actually, what about if I got the pupils really white? I don't really, really see any difference. Head attached. Organic. Give him a big brain because he's a scientist. Baseball gem of Okay. Looks like a scorpion's tail twitching. So five and two don't look any different to me. Actually, it might be a bit thicker. Okay, go for five. It's a little thicker. The hair's a little. Okay. Let's go for blue and that ribbon. Right, white. Yeah, that looks 
stand out, make them pop. Head size. Head height. Skull height. Ooh. Cranium width. Oh yeah, he's gonna be a big brained. Gem had a cheek size. I'm not sure what depth does, so let's... Yeah, it stretches the face out forward. Oh yeah, he's gonna have a big brain. Big brain. Cheekbones. Let's drag those in. Oop, not that one. Cheek position. Little bit more inquisitive look to him. Give him big eyes, big face, brow position. Little bit more inquisitive look. Bit more of a slightly bigger head. Nose. That makes him look like number one. And you had the face option. Give him a big mouth. Bring his mouth up a bit. Give him a big face. Oh yeah, really big face. Neck length, torso bulk. I want to make him actually. I think that really made my first one look weird. He had really big, bulky shoulders, chest size, rib cage, stomach. Nah, Gemini wouldn't have big stomachs. Oh, that is, that's his butt, not his hips. Let's give him a tight little butt. Neck bulk all the way. Torso length. Let's see how tall we can get him. Mm. No, I think, yeah. Chest depth. Let's bring him in a bit. Waist size, let's bring that in a bit. Hip size, let's bring that in a bit. Let's give him long, stretchy arms. Give him big arms. Arm bulk. Yeah, hand size. Let's give him give him finger length. Hand bulk. Leg length. Let's give him long legs. Okay, so this is my science officer. Again, <clears throat> I do like to play as science. Again, Federation is a science thing. I know that uh, the Gemini Warriors, but this will be my Federation's uh, ally at, at least this one. I'm not sure about the engineering just yet. Science.
Gunner. Starting. There we go. Um, an iron. There we go. <sighs> Again, not really fussed about ship names because um, the first ship is not the one you're going to be keeping. It's probably uh, you're going to get rid of it as soon as you want to get the ship you do want to get. So you can name your other ships. Uh, biography. Um, You can always come back to this. Uh, if people have uh, suggestions for biography, I can always come back and fill it out. But for now, I'm just going to leave it, leave it um, blank. We'll engage this one. Get the mission started. Let's skip the intro. Once it loads, we'll skip the intro. Once it loads, we'll skip the intro. Okay, that's my two other gamma. Recruits finished. Change character. There, there. Got my federation. So what I've... What I've forgotten to do is my uh, temporal... My temporal characters. So I've got a Federation Science, but I haven't done uh, my um, Engineering or Tactical. Um, I'm not going to create them now because there are um, events every year or so that will bring out the Temporal... Um, just like this is Gamma Recruits, there'll be the temp Temporal Recruits and the uh, Romulan Recruits and all that sort of thing. So. I'm going to have to wait for that next uh, recruit segment to show up and then I'll do my tactical and engineering. And again, any suggestions for the tactical engineering, I'm happy to take. I don't uh, play female characters. Um, not sexist, it's just that I'm a male. I prefer to play role play as myself in the game. Like, it's hard to role play as yourself if you play a different character, different sex and all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, so... I guess I could do a female character if anyone wants to see a playthrough with that, but it doesn't really make any difference to the gameplay, so I don't really see the diff uh, the point. So I do actually just play prefer to play as a male character. No, oh, I had to double click it. So why wouldn't it work? Okay, so I've got a Vulcan science officer. And Dorians are pretty good uh, fighters and engineers. These guys are pretty uh, good fighters, I believe. Although arrogant, um, militaristic. And the humans can be anything. Uh, so, again, my main character on my federation is a human. I think, um, I think I've got one more human in there somewhere. But most of them, are, I, I pick up one of everything. Um, so with the Dominion, you've only got the two choices. The two Jem'Hadar types. There's no male or female. They're just Jem'Hadar. Uh, here you've got four choices. Again, I've already done the Vulcan Science Officer. So I might go uh, Tactical and Engineering because I don't want to go Human. Um, or Romulan Republic. I've got one Riemann. One uh, Liberated Borg. And I think an Alien. I can't remember. <laughs> There's so many different uh, characters. So as you can see, you've got uh, five different characters. You can play three different classes. So you've got 15 different characters you can create that are different. Um, Cardassian, I've unlocked, but I haven't used. Is that a Federation thing? Yeah. Federation, Cardassian. Okay, so... Looks like... Uh, a little bit like um, our Cardassian Harry Kim, just a tiny bit. Okay, so I've got the, I've unlocked, um, I've got a Gorn Captain, 
a Klingon captain and a Ferrarian, a Fer Ferrarian captain. Um, don't really care for the Orions. Again, I can always create one. If someone wants to see a particular playthrough of a particular race, I'm more than happy to create one just for the video, but um, just for myself, I'm not going to bother wasting my time just building that. Um, Federation. I have a human captain. A, f a Borg captain. Might be a Vulcan. Again, I, I pretty much stick with my original science captain. I don't really, um, apart from when I started the YouTube videos, I, oh, no, exit, wrong one. Apart from when I started the YouTube channels uh, for the videos, um, I pretty much just played the, the Federation captain. I've, I've, I've tried leveling up my other characters, but um, ninth to seventh. Is that already finished? Special Edition Origin. What's that? Let's have a quick look at this while the game's loading. Okay. Uh, Origin is an uh, Origin is a game platform, not the um, title of the game. PC desktop giveaway. Okay. Well, I don't need a PC, so I don't really care. Although that would be awesome just to have the, um, the Star Trek Online themed computer. I really don't need it. Well, I'm not sure. Well, I've already got that, so I might already be in the running. I'm not sure. Hmm? Okay, I'll have to log in to see if my if that's in the um, Zen store because I've already got the Vanguard starter pack. I've actually got the Vanguard uh, Mega Pack, which the starter pack is like a sub-category of that. Again, I'm not sure if anyone who's already bought this is already in the running, because you can't, well, you're either going to have to pay $130 American, which is I think 170 or 180 Australian, to get in the running, or you've already got it from already owning that pack. Seven, a fifth, so thirteen. So tomorrow, uh, week three will start. I've already got the reward for week two. Let's see if this has got a start and end date on it. Oh, flash sale. Today, oh, okay. I must have missed it two days ago. Okay, actually one day ago, because that's the American date, which would have been yesterday. Because uh, I think Australia is uh, 12, 10 or 12 hours uh, in front of American hours. I'm not entirely sure. Also, it depends on which state you're in, which side of the country. Okay, so let's um, log back into my uh, original... YouTube character. First first is his name apparently. Okay, let's have a look. What was it under? I can't remember what the um Jim Hadar thing was under. Can't be personnel, can't be boosts. Services, that's it. Um, Intelligence has decoded the leak. You may leave. Elite starter pack. Antichrist. Well, maybe there was more to that 
article in it that I saw, but um, I don't see anything here to activate that of that thing. Anyway, this video was pretty much just to show you the creation of my two new characters. Um, biographies I'm happy to add later on if anyone's got any suggestions, but I just like to hop in there, pretend it's I've been transported to the future or whatever. <sighs> it's more fun that way to just pretend it's you. Um, I know I'm not a Jem Hadar, but uh, that's the story arc of this particular character. So that was a ghoul from Fallout 4 for a second. Um, we're playing a lot of that. Also, I uh, will be doing playthrough of um, Fallout 76. I might be starting a Fallout 4 playthrough. Uh, let's see. Fallout 4 playthrough. I can see that thing. No matter how many times I click on that, it always pops up. Um, so I will do a Fallout 4 playthrough. Game of the Year edition will not work. I cannot get that to work, uh, number three, but I can get New Vegas to work. So if anyone wants to see a playthrough of that, I'm happy to do it. But probably I'm pretty much going to focus on Fallout 4, which is the latest. Um, I play this every now and again, but I've kind of given up on it because I'm playing so much uh, Stow and Fallout 4. Tactics, I'm uh, more than happy to play, but I'm not very good at it. It's one of my favourite Fallout games as well, which is really frustrating, but as soon as I get to the Super Mutant, so I can't really get much further than that. Galactic Civilizations, I think that just... Yep, just got an update. Um, uh, Intrigue Expansion, so I'm going to be doing a playthrough of this. Homeworld's a bit of a slower uh, gameplay. Uh, it's just like Galactic Civilizations is a slow gameplay, but Homeworld is a different sort of gameplay. Um, it's uh, tactical, and you, uh, some of the missions do actually take a long time if you want to um, get around uh, the map properly. Offboard Trading Company. I don't. Oh, yeah, I haven't actually played this yet. I'm thinking. I can't remember playing it. It's only like two minutes. So I've actually logged in, had a quick look, and logged back out. This is a very fun game. I've played this a few times. It's free to play. You're basically a virus trying to take over the world. It's pretty cool. Uh, RimWorld is a little bit uh, of a pain in the butt. Um, one one mess up could ruin your game and hours of gameplay gone just like that. You've got to be very careful. Build up slowly. Um, really focus on every single individual crew member. Um, you start off with a low, low number. I think you can get up to 20 to end, end game. But you start off with like between one and five, depending on your levels. Um, if one is unhappy, they will actually go and make the others miserable. So you've actually got to. It's very uh, micromanagement room world. I like it a lot. Galactic. Oh no, Galactic. Sorry. Sid Smears Civilization 4. No, 5, sorry. Oh, geez. I can't even say words. Um, Beyond Earth, I think. Yep, I got the expansion for that. I don't know if there's another one coming out that I've missed. more maps uh rising tide oh, okay so there's two more so that's uh 33 they're close to about 45 dollars australian i think just to get those two uh, uh expansions more they're old why haven't i gotten them yet huh, i normally get them all uh what else uh, sins of a solar empire i like to play uh, i like to um uh, I'm pretty sure it's Sins of the Solar Empire. You can actually download a um, a mod. Trinity. Achievements. I think there's a mod here that where you can actually play as Star Trek uh, factions. The Stellaris. Actually, I think it's both. Uh, both of these you can actually have play as Star Trek um, uh, factions. It's pretty good. XCOM, I think, just came out with an update a few months back. Nope. Oh, no, it was XCOM 2. I haven't actually got XCOM 2. But that's something I want to uh, purchase. So I'll just have to check... Might 
XCOM 2 is not on. Well, there is XCOM 2. So it's $60. Digital Deluxe. Collection. Includes floral items. This, let's um, have a look at the bundle. Cool. Okay. War of the Chosen. Okay. So the bundle includes. Hero classes. Okay, so you got classes and so do they and you're fighting each other and hunting each other. Okay, that's one of them. Where's the other three? One other th includes resistance. Horseman, XCOM. Or is that the resistance warrior pack? No. That's War of the Chosen. Well, anyway, this video is going too long with all this information. So, um... Yeah, any suggestions on making the gameplay better? Um, more than happy to take on some criticism. Just keep it civil in the conversations below, that's all I ask. Um, any suggestions on uh, particular playthroughs, I'm happy to take on board. Uh, but again, it does depend on whether or not I have the ability to get there and get that done. But I will try my best. Um, the whole point of YouTube is to have uh, customer satisfaction. I'm giving you a product, you want to see something. So if you have any suggestions, Please make them. Um, I will do my best to uh, get to that uh, video that you request. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.